Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the room that I'm going to be entering right here on the second floor now. I'm basically retracing my steps and moving up from the basement just to make things a little bit easier on myself. And this door closes, oh my god! And what you want to do is get a fire elemental ghost right, right away here. You're going to see why. Um, oh, there's a water elemental ghost I'll need too. But I'm pretty sure you have to, I mean, to uh, get this room started, you have to light those candles up there. That, yep, that's what I thought. Man, get, get, oh shoot. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't take any damage from that there. That was really lucky on my part. I'd really like to get those hearts if I can. And, like, well, I guess it was uh, slightly okay there because I took some damage, but I uh, recovered some at the same time. One more left. I'm gonna need that water for this room and the next room, by the way. That uh, water element there. And, uh, ooh, I need. Oh, wait, wait, you're a fire um, elemental ghost. Yeah, I need you. I need the water element earlier than I thought I did. And, as you can see, the water element ghosts are, of course, I mean, fire element ghosts, excuse me, are weak against water elements, as I said before. It's got kind of like a Pokemon like battle system, in a way. That uh, fire is weak against water, uh, water is weak against ice, which actually doesn't make much sense in the Pokemon world, uh, but it makes a lot of sense in the Ouija world. Uh, I should say it makes sense in general, because you you know, you would think you could freeze water. And Olivia! Pr probably a reference to, like, Olivia or something like that. And I just want to get the boo out of the way here really quick. And make a note here that he will not go into this room over here. That room is the sealed room, so don't worry about it. Um, or at least I don't think he will, but if he does, you're probably going to be uh, slapping yourself silly because you know how annoying it is to, to even get to the uh, sealed room over there. And yeah, see, he, he just automatically goes into... Uh, or I should say he moves himself towards this room. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so... Only 26, 26 left. This boo is, doesn't have a lot of HP, so he shouldn't be too hard to get. Come on. No, 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 no. Ugh. Well, whatever. I sh this should be his last stand here. And vacuum. Give me your ectoplasmic awesomeness. Thank you. Now, I'm at 48 out of 50 ghosts here. Oh, I should say 48, 48 out of 50 boos. So... This is pretty much coming to the end of the walkthrough here. Water this plant here, by the way. You're going to get a little prize. It's a gold bar. Um, I, I need some water for the next room, though. So I'm going to start... Or I should say, get water for that just to prepare myself here. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. But um, I want to suck that away, though. Just to make sure I get everything in this room. There's a chandelier or light bulb. Thingy. Well, that doesn't shake at all, does it? Anyway, I need the water, so let's just get the water. Come on. Come on. There we go. And that heart was also a nice touch, too. So this is the Room of Soupy. The next portrait ghost. Again, she's another spooky little girl. Why are... The kids always spookier ghosts than uh, adults. Why? Just why? Anyway, um, what you want to do is point your flashlight up towards her like that and douse her with water three times. She says not to disturb her, but you know me, I don't listen to people. So, the third time, she'll get pretty ticked off there, and then her clown dolls will start attacking you as you're trying to suck her in like that, and... It, it would definitely be pretty wise to uh, uh, avoid those clown dolls, as you can see there, if you can. Uh, uh, come on, a little bit of water. A little bit of water will do you in. And now I can start sucking her in it once again. Come on. Don't pull me against the chandelier. That might hurt a little bit. And I don't think I can get any more pearls out of her after I hit that mark there. So, let's just slurp up what I have right- Ah! Oh, I grabbed the poison mushroom, I didn't see that. And, oh, I guess I didn't need water to awaken her again. Well, I guess I would, uh, 
Um, I guess that wouldn't make much sense, because I'm pretty sure I, I'm locked into this room right now, so... Oh, wait, wait, can I... Do I... Oh, I guess I do need water. Well, what the heck? Uh, so I guess conserve your water. Now, you'll notice that this room is cleared. But I can't get to that treasure chest. Nor can I really water that plant there. So let's just leave the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, that title brings me to another good point here. It, this room is the sitting room. You're telling me they need an entire room dedicated just for sitting. It looks like it's more like a tea room, but come on now. You're telling me you couldn't put this chair in any other room of the house and sit down on it? <sighs> oh. Can I get another heart from here? That would be pretty nice. Anyway, um, you, you, you want water for this room here? Oh look, the room is flipped back around. Amazing! Yeah, that, that's why I left the room. <clears throat> that's why I left the room, because you have to leave the room first to uh, get that room to flip around over again. Uh, and there's a sapphire inside that plant. That's what you wanted the water for. And I'm looking for a boo or a bomb. That's actually not what I was looking for. Um, come on. Hello there. Oh, it's a heart. I'm being really reckless, I have to say, so I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'd really like to get my health back up. Another boo, I mean, another thing that I have to shake the bed for, Boonita. Uh, I don't quite get that one either. Like, I don't, hmm. Uh, oh, well, I don't care. I'm just gonna get the boo. That's what you are here for. You want to see the locations of the boo and to watch me fail or win incredibly awesomely or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm being horrible with my commentary right now. And yeah, it's basically at this point in the game, it's pretty much all that we've seen before and all that we've done before. So I, I guess I pretty much covered as much as I can in terms of new things at this point. So I guess that kind of is why I'm ha kind of having trouble ha coming up with commentary. But uh, this should give you some pocket change! Woo! That also indicates that Soupy there was a uh, optional portrait ghost. So, just saying. But still, you do want to get her pocket change. Always! So anyway, that takes care of that. And now it's time to go back up to the third floor. Which is the uh, last locked room of the, of the game. And also, it's going to be the last boo of the game. And then... That should pretty much be it. Then I can go over to the final boss battle. Oh man, I'm getting so excited! Which door was that again? Wait, wait. What? Oh, okay, it's, it is right down the hallway here. So just go and turn right over to here. And you're going to meet up with a ghost known as Vincent Van Gore. Is this you know? And you know if you're... Oh shoot, I, I took too long to read that. Anyway, he speaks French, but he's based off a guy that wasn't from France, Van Gogh. Uh, but he did go to France, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, what you want to do in this room is... You'll notice that he makes these paintings come to life. Well, uh, these ghosts all contain a load of hearts as well. So this room is actually, I should say, this portrait ghost is actually one of the easiest ones in the game to get, in my opinion. Because you just keep recovering your life. So, you don't really have all that much to worry about, even if you take damage from a dumb source like that. So, let's just suck him in like that, and yes, you have to clear out all these ghosts. There are uh, three ghosts for each portrait there. As you can see, um, this is what Egad was talking about throughout uh, the last couple parts here, is that he basically makes these ghosts. Um, no, 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 oh shoot, did not want that to happen. And give me, give me, yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, he's the one that's making all the ghosts in this house, basically. Well, or so it seems. Like... Because you'll notice that the ghosts come alive from his portrait, and why the heck didn't I take damage there? That was really weird. And that takes care of that. And we've got some of those nasty grabbers. No, no, no! As I said, they're very nasty. And I want th that dang heart. Yep, don't, don't touch me! Stop pumping me, dang it! 
and get him in the vacuum without getting grabbed by the other ones. E! And see what I mean about my health getting recovered as I go? That's probably why they give you a lot of hearts, because they know this is this room is kind of unreasonable to not take any hits from, because of the way that it's set up, and that you're always facing three of the same kinds of ghosts at the same time, no matter how powerful they are. So it's not exactly a balanced room without those hearts. And that takes care of these. Next one is the Shy Guys. Uh, this is probably one of the longest ports for ghosts to get. Uh, just because of how long it takes to defeat all these ghosts. But basically, once you get all of his little cronies here, uh, he'll be open and ready for sucking. There we go. And... Come on. Come on. There we go. I only want one of you two, so that works for me. And come on. Boop, boop. And there's another one. Now we got the banana tossers. I'm gonna try to get as much HP of them as I possibly can in one run, because they will fill this room up with banana peels. Mario's worst nightmare. You'll notice that the banana peel is like a very annoying item in a lot of Mario sports games and racing games, you know, like Mario Kart and stuff like that. It's, well, it's it's, a, it's become like the most comical uh, fruit, so to speak, or comical piece of a fruit in comedy. But it's also pretty dang annoying in games. But uh, it's, it's a pretty clever use of the classic banana peel gag, because you, you can pretty much slap a banana peel anywhere in a Mario game, and it's going to be... A humorous and it's gonna get in your way um, in, in a humorous way I guess you could say and as you can see the last one is pretty much a joke because um, it's these danglers here from the ceiling and as you know they have zero HP whatsoever and so they're gonna and I take a hit from one of them dang it and they're gonna go down in one hit pretty much no matter where they are stop throwing your bombs there we go and that's all. And now he's going to be like, Oh no, I have been defeated. My creations are gone. And your work will not live on. Because, you know, I kind of took care of all your portraits there. Sorry about that. But you're going into my vacuum now. And after you get all this portrait ghost, as I said before, that's pretty much all there is to him. And it's all over. Seriously, he doesn't really put up much of a fight either. Except for those poison mushrooms. And that's it. And his uh, paint painting of a treasure chest right there, just like the rest of the paintings, will turn into a treasure chest. And that'll give you the golden spade key, which leads to the final boss of the game. Ooh, you excited? I sure am! Which I'll be doing in the next part. Um, but for now, I'm going to get the boo in this room. Uh, I guess it's the last boo in the game, as well as the treasure that results from it. Uh, am I supposed to shake this thing? Or say hump that thing. Um, let me... Wait, wait, this thing? Whatever the heck that thing is, like a vase. And it is Boutique! The most high class and beautiful of all the boos in the world. Even though he looks kind of like the rest of the boos. Or maybe it's a she, I'm not sure. It could very well be a she, you never know. And give me... No, no, no. Come on, come on, get in my vacuum. Uh, basically, since all the rooms are open... I really don't have to worry about him going into a room that I haven't cleared yet, like the other boos. But anyway, this is the very last boo of the game, if you haven't been following. I mean, if you have been following, excuse me. If you missed any boos up to this point, um, just go back into each of the rooms and uh, see where your boo radar goes off. You'll know if there's a boo in the room or if there's potential for a boo if you see a flashing yellow. Sometimes you won't find the boo, you'll get a boo ball or a bomb. So, you, it's just trial and error until you get all the boos in the game. But if you've been following the steps that I've taken to make sure that I get everything as I go, uh, you should be at the state right now, and this should be the, your last boo. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, come on. <laughs> it just had to do that, just had to be a pain, just because it's the last one, huh? Well, this should be it. Here we go. Gimme, 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 gimme. The last boo will get sucked into your vacuum and give you the last gold gem of the game. Well, a gold diamond worth another $20 million. Well, 20 million gold. 
And, as you can see, 50 out of 50 booze. Pay attention to your Game Boy Horror there. Uh, I was expecting the Game Boy Horror to uh, fade out, or maybe... Oh, never mind, I know why. Um, after after you get all the booze and you get King Boo, I believe your Game Boy Advance uh, beacon there stops um, beeping. Oh, wait, wait, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way, dang it. Anyway, I have to go to the basement, so I think that's a good time to end it here, and I'll see you in the next part, when I do the final boss of the game. See you then.